Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to bake this model in Substance Painter. So I have this high poly and this low poly model here. So as you can see, this high poly mesh has more than 500,000 polygons and my low poly mesh has only 800 polygons. So we are going to bake all these details onto this low poly mesh. So before exporting your mesh, just select your low poly mesh and uh, go to mesh display and make sure to set it on soft on edge. Then select your low poly and go to file and click on this export selection and export it as OBJ and repeat the same thing with this high poly model except the uh, mesh display thing. You don't need to set these edges to soften, just select it and go to file export selection and export it as FBX or OBJ. So I've already exported my mesh. Let's uh, go to Substance Painter and import our model there. So go to Substance Painter and create a new document. Import your uh, low poly mesh. Always import your low poly mesh while creating a new project. And uh, I'm going to keep the resolution for this one uh, 2048 and just leave rest of the settings to default. Click OK. And we have our mesh here. Now what are we going to do is that we're going to bake our mesh maps and import our high poly mesh to bake all the details. So go to texture set settings and uh, open this bake mesh maps. Since we are not using any ID map, I'm going to deselect it. And uh, for this, I'm going to take the output size 4K. And here in this high definition meshes, you're going to import your high poly mesh and uh, click on this apply diffusion and in this frontal distance and red distance you might want to change your settings according to your asset so these distances decide so where your rays starts from and uh, where they ends so the value of these uh, distances uh, totally depends on the asset you're baking so for this one i'm going to take 0 0.03 and uh, red distance to 0 0.016 and uh, here in this anti-aliasing, just uh, take the sampling 4x4 four four and uh, click on this bake selected texture. Since we are using the subsampling 4x4 four four and uh, output size to 4K, it might take a while to bake all these maps. So just click bake selected texture and uh, let it finish. So our maps are baked and a bake came out really good and uh, I am pretty happy with the results. And if you need to change it a little bit, you can always go back to these bake mesh maps and tweak all these settings. You can increase or decrease this uh, frontal and rear distances and then bake it again. So our rock looks good. That's how you can bake your uh, meshes in Substance Painter. I'm going to delete this empty layer and let's try something like this uh, concrete here and if you see some seams like this you can always go to the projection and change it to tri planner and it will fix your seam issue so that's it and uh, i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and in the next video we're going to try and uh, texture this rock in substance painter so i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching